Why do I feel like this is 100% going to be Rockstar in the month of October? It says October 26th. That's one of the dates people have been throwing around. We've thrown it around a couple of times, but we don't know exactly. But we are all expecting something this month. Rockstar, they're going to troll us all, aren't they? Well, if Rockstar won't give us GTA 6, we'll go back to the freaking leaked videos because obviously there, there's just so much content from those 90 leaked videos. And I just wanted to go over in this video, the top five features confirmed from those leaked videos for GTA 6. So this is going to be a little refresher if anyone's maybe forgotten about some of the confirmed features, some of the bigger confirmed features. And if not, if you don't know about anything, then hopefully these features get you excited. They're pretty awesome. I honestly cannot wait to see all this stuff in the game like one day. Hopefully though, it is soon. So wasting no time, let's hop right into it. I think one of my favorite features is the new weapon wheel slash inventory. They're probably still tweaking it a bit. So what you're gonna see might not be 100% accurate, but I, I think the gist of it is going to remain the same. The weapon wheel in the inventory is not going to be like GTA 5 where you can hold everything. It's going to be more realistic like RDR 2. I'll put some pictures that uh, some other people have made and some that I've actually made. This is what some of the, the inventory screens looked like in the leaked video so you can get an idea. The one in the middle, I believe, is the most recent version of it. So you can see you can only actually have a handful of weapons. You can have, it looks to be maybe like four-ish pistol slash smaller weapons. Maybe that includes grenades, Molotov cocktails. You can see it includes a knife, a flashlight, and then you can only have one big gun. And honestly, in all the iterations, that is that remains the same. You can only have one big gun, assuming you don't have a loot bag. Now that's where things get a little bit different because there are loot bags in the game, like duffel bags. You can throw that on. And then I, I think your inventory expands you can store more weapons, bigger weapons and stuff, but it definitely looks to be more grounded. And I know some people aren't gonna like that, but I actually personally love that because it makes you sort of think about what you wanna do before you go into it. And then you have to think on the fly if you get stars on you. And of course the cops come after you, you have to just think, okay, well, I have only access to this weapon right now. What can I do with it? There's also this like side inventory. I don't really know. I guess it's the quick inventory system here. And that's where you're gonna have things like prescription pills. Uh, maybe that just like makes you run faster or something like that. Uh, the trauma kit, which uh, helps you heal faster. Uh, cigarettes, don't know what those are gonna do. There's gonna be some some smaller items. I guess that's not a part of the, the weapon wheel. So yeah, overall the, the new inventory system looks pretty nice. I am excited for it. I'm sure it'll be much like RDR2 system where like the bulk of your stuff is like in your car, where like in RDR2 it's on your horse. So as long as you have your car nearby, you're gonna have access to everything you know you have, but that's the first thing. The second thing is the interaction with the people, like with the environment, with the objects. They're going a step further than you've ever seen in a GTA game. Here are some of the things that you'll be able to do. Uh, we actually got to see in one of the clips, you could carry bodies. So hopefully that ties into like a new stealth feature where you can actually pick up the bodies and carry them away instead of them just laying around. That was one of the big complaints with the Cayo Perico heist in GT Online. You shoot these bodies and you're trying to go stealthy and the bodies are just there. You can't move them. So yeah, carrying bodies, that's going to be really cool. You can also rob, threaten, and talk with NPCs during robbery. So that'll be interesting to see just what the NPCs do, obviously. And then, of course, you can also pick up items like you can pick up items in RDR 2. There's going to be a ton of items you can pick up. Uh, beer bottles, it says, cans car parts, there's the hat you could pick up at one point. There was, of course, guns and stuff you can pick up, but it looks like there's gonna be a lot more interaction in the world. And actually one thing I forgot to mention, in robberies, you can actually tie people up. So that's gonna be really cool. In the, I think of the Hank's Diner clip, you can see Lucia, she actually does have the option to tie people up with some zip ties. So that'll be really cool. That's the second thing I think it's gonna be awesome, the interaction. The third thing is the new witness and police system. Here's just a big old description of it, but basically cops and just the witnesses in the game, they'll be more realistic. There's different stages if they know the full description of your character or of your car, and that's what the full description and full vehicle description states there. 
I'm assuming maybe if you have like a mask or something, they're not going to have a full description. Or maybe if you get away quick enough, they won't have a full vehicle description. And then on the flip side, if you stay around too long, it says any vehicle at a certain point, any vehicle you're entering will be known by the law. So then at that point, you just, you can't really escape that easy. And as far as the witness system, that's what the bottom text is sort of saying. There's going to be some sort of icon, of course, above the, the NPC's heads. It's a yellow icon in the, the leaked video. It'll probably change to something maybe a little bit nicer in the actual game, but it will be the indication that either they're calling the police, the yellow text, it says someone's icon started to flicker and then it became red. So I'm assuming that's after they've called the police. But again, this witness system is going to be a lot like RDR2's witness system. There's also a time until the cops dispatch system that's going to tie into all of that. So when you commit a crime, the cops don't just immediately show up. There's going to actually be some time before they do show up. I'm assuming dependent on what you're obviously doing. So the police, they're getting completely revamped and that sounds really fun. The fourth thing is actually something we don't know a whole lot about, but the little we do know gets me excited and it is animals. There were animals in GTA 5, but they really weren't that special. They weren't that great. Knowing what Rockstar can do with animals from RDR 2, I think they're going to take all of that and incorporate it in GTA 6. And I mean, here are some of the animals that are going to be in the game. These are just some of the animals we saw in the leaks, snakes, seagulls, alligators, boars, lizards, possums, whales. I think there's a shark at some point, horses, cows, deer, all of these animals are going to be in this game. And here are some of the world events that the animals are a part of. You can see like raccoons are just going to be climbing in and out of trash. That's going to be pretty cool to see a uh, hunting accident. I don't know if that's just like someone got shot and it, that's it. Or if there's actually going to be hunting in the game, but I, I hope there is because hunting in RDR two was awesome. And it would be really cool if there was a hunting aspect in vice city in gta 6 as well as fishing there was also a bait and tackle shop in one of the the world events so i'm hoping that there's going to be some sort of fishing in the game as well that would be awesome and then just some of the other events i think there was like an alligator eating a boar or something like that a giant bird's nest an invasive species so all of these different animals are going to be in the game i'm assuming they're just going to be more in, in the wilderness not in the city apart from the raccoons but yeah, animals I think are gonna be a big part and I cannot wait to see them in the game. And then the fifth thing that I think is gonna be one of the bigger changes, and I actually wanna make a separate video more in depth in this topic, but the new stealing cars system. It looks like it's not gonna be as simple as just going up to a car, hitting Y, hitting triangle, whatever the case may be, and getting in. There's all kind of new gadgets and tools to help out with unlocking and stealing cars. There's also different events that reference these stealing of cars it looks like it might take a while if there's a full in progress and a fail state and i guess a cat can carjack a car too i don't know what that one is but yeah that one's there but i guess be on the lookout for the more in-depth video on this but yeah the new hijack car system looks to make playing pretty different i would say compared to what most people are used to so those are my i guess top five features that are confirmed for gt6 I know we're all memeing on Rockstar for not showing us anything or for just taking forever, but the game from all this leak content, I mean, it looks phenomenal. So whenever it does come out, it's going to be incredible. But for now, we must just wait. So that's going to do it for today's GTA 6 video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments, what are your top features confirmed for GTA 6, if you know any. Please drop a video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA 6 content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.